Today we'll be reviewing part number PK11700. This is the Pollock Heavy Duty 7 Pole Round Pin Trailer Wiring Connector. The 7 Pole Plug is going to connect the trailer to the socket on the tow vehicle. It's going to feature round floating solid brass pins. It's going to ensure that minimum voltage drop is attained. They are coated with dielectric non-conducting grease that's going to prevent corrosion and resistance. They're also going to offer easy alignment and maximum contact. It's also going to feature solid brass terminal screws. Now the housing is made from a die cast zinc housing, so it's going to provide a lot of strength, a lot of durability. It's also going to feature a tapered design with a jumbo finger pull grips. That's going to allow easy hand position and it's really going to allow you to get a nice secure grip to disconnect from the connection point. It's going to feature a cable lock system. You can see that little retention plate in there. Um, and it's also going to have a retainer screw. The interior up front is made from a high impact ABS thermoplastic material. It's going to include the extended lip for easy removal and replacement. And this will accept a wide range of wires from 16 gauge to number 8 gauge. This does meet and exceed all standards of SAE J560. And it's going to be interchangeable with all competitive ATA types. It's going to offer us a volt rating of 6 volts to 28 volts, a current rating of 40 continuous duty amps. Now when it comes to wiring configuration, we want to recommend um, the gauge wire. So we're going to give you the color, the circuit, and the recommended wire gauge. So for the white, that's going to be your ground. We recommend 8 gauge. Black is for clearance, side marker, or identification lights. That's going to be 12 gauge. Yellow is for left turn and hazard signal. That's going to be 12 gauge. Red is for stop lamps and anti-lock devices, 10 gauge. Green is right turn and hazard signal, 12 gauge. Brown is for tail, rear clearance, marker and license plate lamps, 12 gauge. And blue is for your auxiliary circuit. Uh, we recommend 10 gauge. Now to get your screws in there, you do need to loosen up the retainer screw here at the back. That's gonna allow that plate in there to kind of get some room so you can get your wires through. Run your wires through. You need to undo the set screws on the side of the plug at the front. That's going to allow the insert to actually remove from the housing. Then you can make your connection points, place the housing or place this portion back into the housing, reset your screws, and then set the retainer screw here at the base. That's going to allow the insert here to push up against the wires. It's also going to help limit the amount of dirt and moisture that can get in there to your connection points. That's going to do it for our review of part number PK11700. This is the Pollock Heavy Duty 7-Pole Round Pin Trailer Wiring Connector.